the New Jersey Alliance for Clinical and Translational Science is committed to advancing medical practice and developing new therapies and treatments that improve health and healthcare throughout New Jersey and beyond. The New Jersey Act structure is made up of core areas that provide the expertise and structure needed to accomplish these goals. The informatics core offers services that integrate, enhance, and expand data from disparate clinical and research resources for researchers, as well as augments analytic capabilities and training across the entire research enterprise. The informatics core leads are Drs. Frank Sonnenberg, David Ferran, Barr von Osen, Stephen Crystal, and Yi Chen. The primary mission of the informatics core is to ensure that the New Jersey Acts and its collaborators have access to rich, state-of-the-art, health-relevant data resources to actively develop a rich data ecosystem that provides the data resources, analytic tools, expertise, and training to New Jersey ACTS researchers across the entire clinical and research communities. To achieve these objectives, our team is currently establishing the procedures and protocols and workflows to integrate data from disparate clinical research and public sources, expand our clinical data warehouse in a protected environment that makes linked data accessible to researchers, provide a platform for informatics science training across the workforce continuum, expand our analytic capabilities by including large administrative data sets, and provide expert services to the entire user community. Our team is currently in the process of establishing a digital badging and certification program in informatics training, which will be offered to students, residents, and physicians to provide them with core competencies and skills in data analytics. Topics will include natural language processing, interpretation of genomic data and reports, and principles of data mining and machine learning. Although our team has made significant progress across a range of different initiatives, projects, and programs, a flagship project has been the design, development, and implementation of a state-of-the-art clinical data warehouse that integrates information arising from electronic medical records, clinical trial management systems, tumor registries, biospecimen repositories, radiology and pathology archives, and next generation sequencing devices. To maximize the scalability of the warehouse to support a wider range of medical subspecialties and data analytics projects in population science and precision medicine, we have formalized an agreement with the senior administration at Rutgers to migrate the warehouse into a university supported data center where it will serve as an enterprise wide resource with direct access to high performance computing. This slide shows a high level diagram of how the CRDW will be integrated with the new enterprise wide EPIC system. Prominent in this diagram is direct connection of the warehouse to EPIC rendered in red and a bi-directional connection for transmitting genomic information. Through a close collaboration with Google Healthcare, our team successfully created and tested an instance of the warehouse on the Google Cloud platform and demonstrated its scalability using cloud-based data mining features. The platform is currently undergoing integration with several key building blocks, 
including advanced pattern matching tools, machine learning methods, and a large scale storage repository. To support the planning and development of all of these resources, one single overarching data governance council was established and charged to guide the methods used for gathering, accessing, and sharing the data at Rutgers and across the entire healthcare consortium. Operational guidelines for data governance and CRDW have been introduced into a legal agreement that has been approved by both parties. Through a collaboration with Dr. Barr von Osen, we are currently building a secure, protected environment to support state-of-the-art artificial intelligence and machine learning and analytic pipelines that can be executed through persistent, ready access to high-performance computing and cloud technologies. Using these assets, we hope to accelerate the pace of developing and optimizing computational algorithms for clinical and translational research. Leveraging these resources, our team has already begun to investigate the use of integrated histogenomic signatures to predict disease recurrence in patients presenting with Gleason score seven prostate cancer. These studies have demonstrated that the use of computational biomarkers generated by combining genomic and imaging signatures using deep neural networks showed improvement in predicting recurrence as compared to using PSA and histologic features alone. In an attempt to address the issue that there still remains limited availability of COVID-19 lab-based test kits within many developing countries throughout the world, our team and several other investigators have begun to explore the use of local weighted mean phase angle, phase energy, and energy attenuation as the primary CXR image features that are fed into a convolutional neural network as a means to address this challenge. We have already performed analysis on publicly available data sets consisting of more than 18,000 chest X-ray scans, which showed 87% average accuracy. As an extension of this project, we are expanding the study using data and radiology originating from Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital EMR and imaging data through the radiology department here in New Brunswick. Other active projects that are reliant upon the clinical research data warehouse include the development of web-based portals for tracking and reporting clinical genomics results in collaboration with the Department of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine, development of a new model to support harmonization of COVID-19 data among investigators throughout a consortium of clinical sites at NYU, UPenn, and Rutgers. We also plan to utilize the CRDW to refine and optimize a suite of bioinformatics tools to facilitate interpretation of clinical grade tumor sequencing data. This work was proposed as part of a pending U01 grant application with doctors Hossein Kiabanyan and Sridhar Ganesan. And now that the data use agreement with Barnabas has been finalized, we are focused on making the CRDW and analytic services available to the clinical and research community. So working with the EPIC, OIT, and Barnabas teams, we have developed the means for routinely and securely transferring data from the new AHR into the CRW and capturing those data elements, including genomics, digital pathology, radiology, 
and information arising from unstructured data so that they can be used in a broader range of application areas. At this time, we are actively developing an interactive portal through which investigators will be able to submit requests for data and analytic services while billing and accounting are managed through back office applications. For more information on the New Jersey Acts Biomedical Informatics Core, please see newjerseyacts.rbhs.rutgers.edu slash investigator resources slash informatics services overview. Thank you for your attention.